Hey, welcome back to Melt Daily Homes. Uh, Chuck here, and I was just up in a plane with Colin Best, and we're gonna share that footage probably later this week or maybe early next week for our fourth annual flight over Milton. And then afterwards, we uh, played a little oily beach volleyball. Now there's no photos at 883 uh, Fowles Court. It is Madame Amesbury. It's 1130 square feet. Uh, basically one main room on the main floor plus a kitchen. And then upstairs you've got three bedrooms and one full bathroom. There's no uh, finished basement. It looks like there's laminate on the main floor. And then uh, you have a deck outside which doesn't add a lot of value, but it backs onto the school. So if you look at the aerial shot here, I can even zoom out a little bit. It's this home right here. And uh, wow, that really messed us up here. So here's Fowles Court, here's the home, and then you've got, you've got PL right here. You've got the traffic circle at uh, Diamond Scott. So anyway, no pictures. If it's half decent, I would say they, uh, they priced it pretty well. And uh, even something as simple as putting a nice coat of blacktop on your driveway instantly creates a good impression. You can kind of see the neighbor here has a grayish driveway and uh, for purpose of selling for what it costs to do something like that, that first impression, I always say to people is you're not going to win someone on the first impression, but you can lose them. And I've actually pulled up to homes before and the buyers have said, hey, you know what? Keep driving. So it does happen. Okay, next up is Nairn Circle 659.9 and um, it's a nice looking home. It's a, actually a really nice floor plan. You've got a sitting room with, um, with coffered ceiling and the, uh, the decor looks good. Um, here's the thing about this one is that uh, going in person, you have a choice when you're listing a home. And if you check the virtual tour here, there was, I was looking for something very specific. And if you notice, there's no shots of the backyard. And, and so if you read through here, um, on premium corner ravine lot. So it does face dairy. You're gonna see that in the picture. You're gonna see that right beside here. The street is, is reasonably quiet, um, but you do get the road noise. The backyard has a really aggressive slope. And, and I have a feeling that's why they didn't show the, uh, the photograph. But what I was saying before is you have a choice about whether you're completely overt about something in your home that may not be very desirable or uh, you can kind of just leave it alone and then when people come is you know they can kind of judge for themselves two different um, uh, points of view is and there's no right or wrong is would you rather have more qualified people but less of them that actually know of something before they come or would you rather just open it and say, let's try and get as many showings in and see who falls in love with it? Like I said, it's an interesting uh, dilemma. I find that for me, I make that decision house by house. There's no, uh, there's no absolutes in that decision. Most alluring at first sight, according to the description, is this one on Bell Street. And uh, you've got that nice close to downtown location. Got a renovated home. Um, it's a back split. Uh, so a couple stairs up, a couple stairs down, and the backyard is obviously the highlight of this home. Uh, really nicely done. Uh, TV is in kind of a strange place. Like I think if your fireplace is going, the TV almost seems like it's too close to there. Uh, although there may not be the vertical height uh, by the fireplace. Anyway, very nice looking home. Uh, nice little covered area right there. You have a uh, tree canopy, uh, saltwater pool. You still have some grass, which is a nice mix. People don't want the whole backyard uh, with pool. They like to see some grass there. Single car garage, but I look at something like the one on high side, the custom home there, and uh, what it went for. And I don't think they're priced too bad on, on Bell here. Very nice. 1301 Dairy Road. Um, Kilbride. Uh, if you're a sports fan, this home used to be owned by Mike Vanderjat, the famous kicker that had a, uh, a, a real nice career in the CFL, then moved to the NFL and uh, it, it played with Peyton Manning, the Colts, and all the rest of it. So with his first signing bonus, he, he purchased this home. I'll put an article down below. And uh, someone bought it, I think a year or two ago, and, and now it's in power of sale it's a bank sale so we don't normally see bank sales at three million bucks um, 
I think for the condition of the home, if this was pristine, they've got a chance at this. I think they paid three something before. Um, but it's just, you know, here's the thing. You got, you got 20 pictures here. You're going to put an old dated bathroom here. I'm going to show you the photo gallery, and I guarantee I could substitute quite a few pictures instead of that one. Uh, it's always hard to sell a vacant house because all the flaws become apparent. Uh, you have nothing to distract your eyes. And, you know, the only sexy thing is the, the home theater here. But here's the thing. Go on a virtual tour, and uh, you have an indoor basketball court with freaking Jumpman Air Jordan on the floor. Like, how cool is that? Look at this thing. They didn't put it in the gallery. I don't get it. Um, this home has been riddled with, uh, I think, subpar marketing, even when it was listed before. Uh, I would absolutely adore taking someone on an MTV Cribs tour of something like this because it's just so cool. Uh, and overgrown, I mean, some of the parts have not been kept well. That was a par three golf hole. Um, you also have this, like, why isn't there a shot of this? This is like this really cool pool here. You've got a, a bit of an overgrown beach volleyball court. That V is for Vanderjat, by the way. That's not egotistical at all. And uh, come to think of it, maybe Colin and I should uh, have a little volleyball game on this court. That's game. So there's the house. I didn't see the famous uh, goalposts. The um, there used to be. You could see them right from Derry Road. It was it was kind of this iconic uh, Kilbride thing when you're driving through the uh, the area. So anyway, the uh, that is the story on this one here. Um, yeah, bank sale. See what happens. So I gotta get going. I feel the need. The need. 